A good friend of mine, Mr. Luke Dugan, sold £500,000 worth of stock while selling on Amazon. Now, the majority of this was in groceries. Now, if he can do it, so can you. And today, I want to help you get ungated in groceries. And I'm going to share with you how to do that exactly step by step. So let's get growing your business like Mr. Luke Dugan. If you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I've been selling on Amazon now for four years. But simply, I'm on a mission to do one million pounds by the end of 2021 and I'll drop a link to a video up there where I explain, document and talk about my entire journey. Watch it, it might help you get where you wanna be as well by watching how I'm doing it for myself. But enough about me, let's jump into the content today. Okay, number one, I wanna talk about why you wanna get ungated in groceries. Number two, I wanna talk about the way to do it if you've been selling on Amazon for a long time. Number three, I wanna talk about how to get ungated in groceries if you're a new seller and we'll do it step by step for you. Number four, I'm gonna share some top tips with you about getting ungated if you have failed and maybe you've been rejected. So that's gonna help you out as well. Okay, first things first, number one, why do you wanna get ungated in groceries? Well, I'm just gonna go back. If Mr. Luke Dugan can do 500,000 pounds worth of sales and the majority of them are groceries, it means you too can do that as well. And my God, it's not just him selling on groceries, it's a massive category. Now, one of the big things we all know, COVID has been obviously affecting the world and hopefully it's going to change, but what do we know? Buying habits have changed. More and more people have gone online to purchase what they need. And that isn't gonna stop when COVID stops, it's gonna continue. So habits are changing, more people are buying online, more people are buying their groceries online, and it's a great opportunity for you to take advantage. Now, the other thing about them, groceries, food products, they're something we need every single day and we consume them. And they are fast moving consumable goods. People are buying the same items every single day. And as a result, these products are replenishables. They are products you can just keep buying and selling over and over and over again, helping you grow to half a million pounds worth of sales as well. Now, quick question for you guys. We're talking about groceries here, getting ungated in groceries, selling on groceries. I want to know what was the first category you started selling in? Was it groceries or maybe it was something like toys and games a lot of people go for? Let me know in the comments down below. Tell me the name of the category that you first started selling in. Okay, so now I want to go to number two, how to get ungated for long time sellers. So what I'm going to do now is jump on the computer and I'm going to show you what's called the auto ungating method. So this is if you've been selling for a while, try this it might just help you let's jump on the computer now and i'll go through it okay so i what i've just done here is logged into our seller central back of house and i've just gone up to catalog and then add products and what i'm going to do is drop in an asin right here of a product that we know so i'm going to drop this in you can see it's nest cafe now right now i can see it says apply to sell for this brand obviously it's this product and what i can see if i look on show limitations you need approval to list in the grocery category. And obviously that is today what we want to get listed in. So what do you do? Well, quite simply click apply to sell. And what should happen is it'll say here, you need to request approval. So let's click request approval. And what I'm going to hope is that if I've been selling enough doing well, it's going to say you are approved, but maybe it might not. So let's go through it now. So what's happened now is unfortunately, I have not been selling enough on this account and that's fine. I completely accept it. But it asked me to input information about the product, the manufacturer providing invoices. Now, this is means that I've not been auto ungated. Sometimes when you try for a product and click un, uh, approve, it will say your application has been successful. What does it look at? Well, we don't know the exact answer, but we assume it's something to do with sales volume, seller history, and how good your account metrics are. So just be mindful, do try it before you go down to the next route to see if you can get auto ungated on an, a grocery product. Okay, so that leads me nicely on to number three, how to get ungated for new sellers. And as we just saw, I just tried to get ungated, but it didn't work automatically. So now I have to go down the new seller route. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna talk you through how to do it, and we'll give you an example of how to do it for the UK and another example of how to do it in the USA. So let's go through it now. So quite simply, when we were on this section here, you needed to apply for a sale this category. Now it asked you to tell you about your product and business. So we are here going to be a reseller distributor and it tells us exactly right here, what do we need to submit? So we need to submit at least one purchase invoice for a product from a manufacturer or distributor, or it can be wholesaler, same thing. 
and it tells you what they need to complete. So on that invoice, it needs to have dated on or after the 8th of October 2020, includes our name and address, includes the name and address of the manufacturer or distributor. It shows combined purchase of at least 10 units, very, very important. You can obviously remove the pricing information, Amazon doesn't mind that, and also as well, they may contact the supplier, so just be aware of that. Now, also as well, they're asking down the bottom here, documentation or photo photography of the product itself. Now, what I'll say is here is you need to make sure you're getting all six sides of a product, not just four, sit top and bottom as well, six sides. Now, all the photos are live rather than computer generated. They display all the sides, remember six sides, model numbers, product numbers in both, name, physical location, the business, and or manufacturer, and any important information must be shown up, country, local language. So if you're in English, you can't go buy a French product, it has to be English. So you've got to upload the files there, and then once you've done, you can put your information and click submit. Now you might be saying, Tom, that all sounds very well and good, and that process is exactly the same for the UK and the USA, but how do you get the required documents? Don't worry, we're gonna go through it now. So if you are looking to sell in the UK on the grocery section, what would I recommend? Well, quite simply, come onto a grocery product. Maybe it might be the one you're looking to sell. Maybe it might not be, but you're looking for a grocery product within the UK that's in the grocery category. For example, here, I've just loaded up this Jelly Babies or Jelly Babies Snowman. And if you scroll down, what I can see Right here is it's classified in the grocery category. And I can even go into the back of House Seller Central, put the ASIN in and check to see if that is in grocery. Now, what I want to do is to find a wholesaler that is gonna allow me to buy this product, 10 units, take the photographs of it, get the invoice and send it into Amazon so I can get and get it. Now, I'm gonna share with you a special wholesaler that we use to do this. So, Jelly Babies, what I'd recommend, come over to a wholesaler called Harrison's direct now we've used these time and time again to get ungated for certain categories they sell a wide range of products you can come into harrison's direct create an online account with them and find the same product and then obviously open the account buy it buying the 10 units providing that invoice to amazon now that is a really simple way to do it in the uk harrison's direct have helped many amazon sellers and they get it right the invoices they know exactly what to do they're really helpful now you might be asking, that's great in the UK. What about the USA? Well, don't worry again. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you another product. So right here, we've got a product here. This is a coconut oil product. Again, let's have a quick look down. This is in the grocery and gourmet food category. So again, you can take it to the back of house, check it's in the right category for you in that set essential. But if you are looking to buy this product, you can come over and have a look at Frontier Co-op. Now this is a wholesale store whereby you can find the same products for them and then sell them or buy them, minimum 10 units remember, get the invoice, take the photo of the packaging, submit that all to Amazon and get yourself ungated in the grocery category using the suppliers. It's gonna really help you out getting those products in the UK or from the USA and get you start selling in the grocery category. Now look, I wanna share one really top tip whether in the UK or USA doesn't really matter. What I'd really stress for you is don't look for products from these wholesalers that are gonna be making you money. Think of it as like, this is just a cost of getting ungated. You're gonna buy these products, you're gonna use them to get ungated. Hey, you might not even ship them in, you might use them at home, not a problem. But the idea is, is don't look to start making the same profit and ROI from these products. You'll be forever looking through the wholesalers. Most of the time you're not gonna sell it or not gonna find them. What I'd really recommend is just get the product, get yourself ungated really as quickly as possible and cheaply as possible, and then go now that you're ungated, you can now go and find all the deals online and grow your Amazon business. Coffee. Okay, so that leads me nicely on to talk about getting ungated and finding deals for getting ungated. One thing which I will say is doing the wholesale route is great. It's really gonna help you out getting ungated in certain products and new categories that are gonna allow you to sell more. But the one thing which we always need to do is look for deals to buy, to find, and obviously to buy and sell on Amazon. Now, quite simply, I wanna introduce you to Fast Track FBA Leads. It's a service I created whereby we've got a team of VAs sourcing seven days a week, UK and USA markets. What do we do? We put all our deals onto an online portal where you can see everything and you can pick and choose the deals that you like. 
When you're ready, you literally unlock them using tokens, buy them low from the supplier, resell high on Amazon. Now, maybe you're a new seller and you're worried about gated deals. Don't worry. With our service, you can filter out the deals and categories which new sellers are able to sell in. That way you can not worry about deals that you can't sell. You only see those deals which you can. And if you have any problems with any of the deals, you can even log an issue and get a refund on them. Really super simple, really efficient, and it works to help grow your business. Check it out, Fast Track FBA Leads. I'll drop a link below. Okay, so that leads me finally onto number four, what to do when Amazon does not approve your application. Well, do not worry at all. Give it a day or two, try again, put that application back through. We've seen it time and time again. Sometimes you get rejected on the first one, the second time it'll get put through. Even if they come back saying the documents aren't clear enough, try it again, just give it a day between. Now, the other thing which I'll probably say about getting ungated, putting your application in, is that even if you have everything perfect, the right documentation, they may sometimes come back to you and just say, no, we've rejected your application. Generally, what does this mean? It means you don't have enough sales history. So get some more sales, get some more experience on the Amazon platform. Try again. You can use the same invoices so long as they still meet the criteria. Just get some more sales in. We've seen it time and time again. People just started. They want to get ungated and they do it straight away. And as a result, they, they get rejected. So get some sales under your belt first. Maybe use something like Fast Track FBA leads to find some deals whereby you're not ungated. You're not gated in. Now, I will just add one big caveat to the end of that. Just because you are ungated now in the grocery category doesn't mean you can sell everything in the grocery category. You may still be gated in certain brands. Just be aware of that and do check that back of house. It'll say just where we looked at earlier, gated in the grocery category. It'll also say maybe gated in the brand, for example. That's going to be something you need to get ungated in as well if maybe you want to sell that brand. Just be aware. Now, what I will say is if you are looking for deals, finding deals, you do need to have great suppliers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two videos around here, one for the UK, one for the USA, of top 100 suppliers for both marketplaces. It's gonna help you out finding great deals. But if you've enjoyed this video, let me know, give me a thumbs up. And hey, if you wanna see more content like this, hit that subscribe button, you'll be notified. That subscribe button down below. But for me, Thomas Parkinson from Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.